Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is method of variation of parameters. This BP method. This method is used to find the particular integral. This is the third method to find the particular integral. Already we have discussed two methods. That first one general method and second one shortcut method to find PI particular integral means the remaining half solution of L. Now the third method is method of variation of parameters. And this method is we are discussing for one particular case that is differential equation of order two only. When the order of differential equation is two, then in that case, the auxiliary equation will be of order, sorry, the auxiliary equation will be of a degree two. If the degree of auxiliary equation is two, then it has two factors. And its complementary function will contains two arbitrary constants. Means, in that case, the complementary function will be c1 y1 plus c2 y2. The term with c1 is y1, and the term with c2 is y2. Because the differential equation, L D, L linear differential equation with constant coefficients, this differential equation we are considering of order two only here. Its order is two, so you will get the auxiliary equation of degree two. The degree of auxiliary equation is two, so you will get two factors. There are two factors, so your complementary function will contain only two arbitrary constants, and the complementary function will be in this. It will be of type c1 y1 plus c2 y2. Now the formula to find the pi is by using VP method. Means method of variation of parameters is here u y1 plus v y2. Now, what is u and what is v? Here, you know what is y1 and y2. y1 and y2, these are the two functions are from complementary functions. But what about u and v? How to find u and how to find v? For this, to find u and v, u, the one new term is here d, and it is equal to determinant of first row y1, y2. And second row y1 dash y2 dash. First row y1 y2, y1 y2. These are the functions from complementary function. And y1 dash is the derivative of y1. Y2 dash is the derivative of y2. You solve this determinant, you will get the value of d. Now, what is the use of this d? This value is used to find u and v. See what is the formula to find u and v. Now, u is equal to minus integration x into y2 upon d. Now, what is this x? x is the function f of x, which is always there in RHS of LDE, linear differential equation with constant coefficients. The function is always in, in the RHS side. That term is here x. y2 is from complementary function. d is this determinant. You solve this determinant, you will get the value of d. You solve this integration with respect to x, you will get the value of u. Now, what is v? v is equal to integration x into y1 upon d. x is the function which is present in RHS of LD, given differential equation, that is that x. y1 is from complementary function. d is the value of the, this determinant. And you integrate this integration with respect to x, you will get the value of u. After finding the values of u and v, you put in this in the formula of pi. That formula is u y1 plus v y2. Okay. Now, example. Example is here. Solve d square plus one into y is equal to cosec x. This is the reduced form of LD, means it is in the form of phi of d into y is equal to f of x. So here the auxiliary equation is d square plus one is equal to zero. This is the auxiliary equation. And uh, if we shift this plus one here in RHS, it will be d square is equal to minus one. Square is a negative number, so the factors are here d is equal to plus minus i. Square is a negative number. So here we introduce i, imaginary number. Uh, i square minus, if you replace minus one by 
i square and so the square root of d square is plus minus i and so there are two roots plus i minus i complex roots are there then how to write the complementary function for complex roots we have discussed it in first lecture how to write the complementary function when the complex roots are there you know complex roots always occur in pairs so here the real part of complex number is 0 imaginary part is 1 the coefficient of i is 1 so its imaginary part is 1 so the complementary function is here as e raised to 0x e raised to 0x alpha is 0 real part is 0 so e raised to 0x in bracket c1 cos x plus c2 sin x now e raised to 0x is 1 so uh, no need to write the term e raised to 0x and so complementary function is here here only c1 cos x plus c2 sin x so complementary function is here Now the complementary function is here c1 y1 plus c2 y2. It, the complementary function is actually c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. But we can write this complementary function as c1 y1 plus c2 y2, where y1 is the term with c1. C1 uh, the term with c1 is cos x, so y1 is equal to cos x, and the term with c2 is sin x, so y2 is equal to sin x. now the formula to find the pi is here ui1 plus vy2 because we are going to solve this example by using vp method so the formula to find the pi by using vp method is here ui1 plus vy2 now you know the values of y1 and y2 these are the values from complementary function but what about about u and v to find u and v you first find d now what is d d is the determinant y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash is here uh these these are the derivatives here so the formula to find the d is here y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash y1 dash is the derivative of y1 and y2 dash is the derivative of y2 these are the corrections here second row are the derivative terms of y1 y2 so uh, y1 is here cos x y1 y2 are from complementary function see here y1 is cos x and y2 is sin x so you in first row you write cos x and sin x now derivative of cos x is Minus sin x, so you write down minus sin x in second row, and then derivative of sin x is cos x. So you solve this determinant. If we solve this determinant, cos x multiplication cos x into cos x cos square x minus sin for second term. But sin x into minus sin x is minus sin square x, so minus minus plus. So cos square x plus sin square x is equal to one. So the value of d is one, and so u is equal to the formula to find u is form is equal to minus of integration y two x upon d dx. Now what is y two? Y two is here sin x. So in you put the value of you put the value of put the value of y2 y2 is sin x and what is the uh, function here function is here cosec x you write down see function is here cosec x 
in rhs the function is here cosec x this is the value of x capital x is this rhs function and this value is cosec x here so you put cosec x y1 x is cos x x is cosec x and the determinant value is sorry this is our uh, formula of u minus sin as it is integration y2 is here sin x x is cosec x and the value of d is 1 So sine x into cosec x. Cosec x means one upon sine x. So sine x sine x get cancel. Integration of dx is x. So the value of u is minus x. Now how to find v? V is equal to integration y one x upon d dx. Now what is y one? Y one is cos x. X is cosec x and the value of d is one. You just put these values here. Simplify it. Cosec x means one upon sine x. So cos x upon sine x is cot x. And so integration of cot function is cot x is log of sin x. So the value of v is log of sin x. So uh, what is pi? Pi is equal to u y one plus v y two. U y one u is uh, minus x. Y one is cos x plus v. V is here sin x. Uh, sorry, v is here log of sin x into u y one plus v y two. Y two is here sin x. And so Uh, the general solution is y is equal to ca plus pi. Write right down the general solution. Now the second example is here. Solve d square plus one into y is equal to one upon one plus sine x. This is a LD in the form of pi of d into y is equal to f of x. Now here, d square plus one is equal to zero is an auxiliary equation. Again, the factors are here. D square is equal to minus one. Square is a negative number, so introduce here the imaginary number i square. So the factors are here. D is equal to plus minus i. So complex roots are there. So similar to first example, the complex uh, complementary function is here. C one cos x plus C two sin x because the real part of uh, complex number is zero and imaginary part is here one. So here alpha is absent. So the complementary function is only c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. So we can write this complementary function in the form of c1 y1 plus c2 y2, where y1 is equal to cos x and y2 is equal to sin x. And the term is c1 is y1 and the term is c2 is y2. And again the formula to find the pi is here u y1 plus v y2. And now the to find u and v, you first find d. You know what is d? Is the determinant y1 y2 second term. Second row y one dash y two dash. So put here the values of y one y two. Y one is here cos x and y two is here sin x. Y one dash is here. Y one dash is here derivative of y one minus sin x and y two is sin x. So derivative of sin x is here cos x. Solve this determinant. If we solve this determinant, we have cos square x plus sin square x is equal to one. So the value of d is one. Now u. Now find u and v. The, to find u, the formula is minus integration y two x upon d into dx. Now y two is here sin x, so put y two is equal to sin x. Now what is x? X is the function in RHS in the given LD. The given LD is this one. Linear differential equation is this one in RHS side. The function is one upon one plus sin x. So your x capital x in the formula is one upon one plus sin x. Into dx. Now, how to solve this integration sin x upon one plus sin x? So, uh, multiply and divide the term by one minus sin x here, so that you will get the term minus integration sin x as it is one minus sin x upon one plus sin x into one minus sin x. So, in numerator, you solve the bracket term uh, for sin x. So, it is sin x minus sin square x. In denominator, the term is. One plus sine x into one minus sine x means it is in the form of a plus b, a minus b, and so the reduction is a square minus b square. So here the uh, reduction is one minus sine square x for one plus sine x into one minus sine x. One minus sine square is uh, sine square x is cos square x because from this cos square x plus sine square x is one. So the value of if we shift this sine square x here. If we shift this sine square 
x is here, then 1 minus sin square x is cos square x. So you replace 1 minus sin square x by cos square x. And so the term is here, sin x minus sin square x upon cos square x. Now separate these two terms. There are two terms, separate these two terms, minus sign is also there. So carry that minus sign, integration, minus sin x upon cos square x dx, this minus minus plus, integration sin square x upon cos square x into dx. So minus sign common integration sin x upon cos square x. Sin x upon cos x is tan x. One cos function is there in denominator because here it is the square of cos function. So one upon cos means sec. So the simplification of this sin x upon cos square x is sec x into tan x minus sin as it is plus sin square x upon cos square x is tan square x dx. And the integration of integration sec x tan x is sec x. So minus sign as it is. So integration of sec x tan x is sec x. So the answer is it is equal to minus sec x plus integration of tan square x. Integration of tan square x to first uh, use the formula tan square x is equal to sec square x minus 1. So again, separate these two terms and integrate. So it is equal to minus sec x plus now integration of sec square x is tan x and minus 1 integration is minus x. So it is u is equal to minus sec x plus tan x minus x. So this is the value of u. Now what is v? v is equal to formula to find v is integration y1 x upon d dx. Now the value of y1 is cos x. The value of x RHS function is 1 upon 1 plus sin x. d is 1. So 1 as it is integration with respect to x. Now how to solve this integration? The denominator term is 1 plus sin x and the derivative of denominator term derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of sin function is cos x. So derivative of denominator term is adjusted in numerator. So integration of the term cos x upon 1 plus sin x is equal to log of 1 plus sin x. This is the integration. And then the pi is, means the value of v is here log of 1 plus sin x. And so pi is equal to u y1, u into y1. u is here. minus sec x plus tan x minus x u y1 y1 what is y1 y1 is here cos x so multiply the term of u by cos x if we multiply this u by cos x cos x into sec x will we get cancelled here it will be minus one only plus tan x into cos x will be only sin x minus x into cos x. So this is first term u y1 plus v y2. v is sin x, sorry, v is log of 1 plus sin x into v y2. y2 is sin x. So this is your pi. And then the general solution is y is equal to cf plus pi, complementary function for particular integral. This is the second example. And next example, you take it as a homework. So all d square plus 3d plus 2 into y is equal to e into e to the power x. So uh, you take it as a homework. You try to solve this example. And so this is the VP method. Uh, discuss the VP method or method of variation of parameters to find a particular integral. And it is the special case of second order differential equation only. Uh, discuss for only second order linear differential equation with constant coefficient. So here all the methods of um, all the methods to find the particular integral is over. I discussed three methods, general method, shortcut method, and third is VP method, method of variation of the method of variation of parameters to find the particular integral means to find the remaining half solution of LD linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So here all the methods are over to find the PI. Now in next lecture, we are going to discuss the uh, equations which are reducible, differential equations reducible to LD. It means the differential equations which are not LD, but we can reduce that differential equations to LD, linear differential equation with constant coefficients. 
and after reducing to early we can solve the examples so this session is over here thank you